This is just a quick little video because I had a request on how to set the regulators up on a set of oxygen and acetylene torches. Um, a fellow said that he um, inherited a, a set of torches or, or bought a set used or something and he wasn't sure how to set them up so I'm going to go over that real quick and maybe I'll do a more thorough um, a video on this at, a, at another time. In fact, I've been wanting to for a long time, but I didn't have any requests. So I want to get the request covered, and then I'll do a better video later when I have a better opportunity to do it. Anyway, first I want to say, just about all sets of torches, your regulators are going to use a one and one eighth wrench, and on your oxygen. In fact, this one fits a little bit loose, so maybe it, they changed the size. Um, it's always been one and one eighth. The oxygen tightens up normally. You tighten to the right, loosen it to the left, and that's the same with argon and any um, non-flammable gases. But your flammable gases always tighten to the to the left. Um, so to tighten this one, I have to push the handle that way. This is the acetylene. Tighten it that way and you loosen it this way on the acetylene. So we'll get that covered first. Your flammable gases have a left hand thread on them. All right, uh, right now there's nothing, no pressure on the gauges because the torches haven't been used in a while, so the little bit of residual pressure in the hose has leaked out. The gauge with the bigger numbers tells you how much is in the tank. How much pressure is in the tank and a full tank of oxygen is normally going to run between it might be more like 2,000 I forgot let's see what's in there now okay we got about 1500 in there now 1300 and I keep my oxygen pressure on the regulator here at around 25 pounds, 20, 25 pounds most of the time and um, that's for cutting and then for gas welding you want to go a little bit less maybe I have to open up the torch here to let the gas pressure out turn it to the left to release pressure it's not going out I gotta open up the other one too we'll cover that in a minute okay now I'm gonna go on ahead and tighten these back down on the torch and you add your pressure and you are supposed to let the pressure off your regulator but nobody does we just shut them off at the top of the valve and you better get in the habit of shutting this off on both of these every time you walk by these things make sure they're off because the gas has gotten really expensive Okay, we're letting the pressure out of it. Now I gotta seal it, I gotta close it again so that you can see me put pressure back in. They're now starting to feel the spring tension here. Spring pushes on a diaphragm. It goes through the diaphragm, there's a hole on the other side, the gas pressure on the other side comes back and equals out the spring pressure and that controls your, your pressure flow. So for welding you're going to want maybe 6 or 8, no more than 10 pounds. And welding is with these here, tips. I'll have to show you that in a few minutes in the other room how they go on but cutting is what most people do with a torch 
I'm going to go with around 20-25 pounds of gas on my torch. People that are not as conservative as me may want 40, but I don't like paying for it. I get plenty of cutting out of 20 pounds. Okay, the acetylene, usually keep that around no more than 10 pounds, maybe 7 to 10 pounds. And it's up higher than that. I must have bumped into this. It shouldn't be that high. In fact, we're running low on the tank pressure. We're going to have to switch bottles here. The red hose is the acetylene. probably good there because when I'm using it the pressure will drop right now it's closed the valve is closed on the torch so pressure will drop back down look here we're getting ready to put another oh probably a hundred dollar bottle of acetylene which is this one here they're small bottles too getting ready to put another one on because I'm out of tank pressure this will usually go up to 250 to 300 pounds when it's full. And if I remember, I think the oxygen goes up around 2,500 pounds when it's full. Necessity. Got to have a set of torch tip cleaners. They don't cost much. Get couple of sets of them. The smallest ones go into your preheaters. That's your six little holes going around the middle hole. I don't know if we're getting this on camera or not. I hope so. They go in those little tiny holes there and you clean them out with that with the ribbed edges on it. And then the bigger hole in the middle, you're going to take a bigger size Whichever size fits in there, I have to find one to fit it. I'm not going to do it right now. But you just, you work those in and out of there, keep those holes clean. All six of those little tiny preheater holes need to be clean. And then the bigger one in the middle is your oxygen. That's when you press this lever here. The oxygen comes out that center hole and it cuts. It, it'll cut carbon steel and that's about all it'll cut. Anyway, I'm going to see back this out a little bit. I turn my ox, my acetylene on just a little bit. I can just barely hear it coming out of there. And if you're out where there's noise, you can blow it in your face when you just barely hear some coming out or feel it. Turn the oxygen up. You can turn this all the way up if you want because you're going to control the oxygen that's mixing in there with this one. This one has no control. This one is full blast. All the oxygen that this valve and your pressure regulator and your hose, all, all, all that oxygen is going to come out through this full blast for cutting. But for preheating and welding, you got to carefully adjust these. We got just a little bit of acetylene coming out. You want to add a little bit of oxygen to it. Otherwise, you're going to get these black spider webs floating around when you light it. Now, I don't know what we can see uh, because this might be too much light for the camera. So, I'm going to try to explain. There are six little light blue points. I'm going to carefully turn up the acetylene a little bit more. That's the red knob down here. I'm going to carefully turn that up slowly. Now we have what they call a carbonizing flame when it gets this kind of an orange cone out in front of it. Well, we're going to go ahead and put that on out there a little bit. And then now we're going to add more oxygen to that. Oh, not that one, this one. 
until the, until this cone out here meets these little little ones here, the preheater. When they meet each other, now you're set. You're ready to cut. You press your oxygen, you want those cones to stay about the same. It's ready to cut now. I'll do demonstration on cutting later. I've got other videos where I did that. Anyway, when you turn it off, you can just shut off your acetylene first, and then it's just going to make a little pop and shut off. And then you turn this one off all the way. And you can leave this one set where it is, and then when you get ready to fire it up again for your next cut, turn your acetylene on just a little bit, turn the oxygen on all the way. And then just But nothing takes the place of practice. Hope that little video helps. I'll do more on torch cutting and welding later. Thanks for watching.